Hi friends, welcome back to ARC Tutorials. In today's episode, we will cover interview question and answers on Node.js series. This is the third part of the series. Make sure you have checked out part one and part two as well. Also, if you have any doubts and queries, please drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. Remember friends, we are bringing this series to help you crack any interview. So if you have any doubts, any, any queries, please drop them and get free help. Before we get started, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Let's get started with Node.js interview question and answers part three. How to uninstall a dependency using NPM? Using use we can we can uninstall any module using the following below command <coughs> npm uninstall dependency name so we can just provide the command npm uninstall and followed by the name of the module that we want to remove <coughs> excuse me let's the next question is how to update a dependency using npm so if we want to update there are two th ways we can do we can we can update our package.json directly or and then we can run the command npm update that would bring the latest version into our project <clears throat> what is callback so callback is a asynchronous equivalent of for a function so think of it like that a call callback function is called at the completion of any given task so that is called as a callback method so Node.js heavily makes use of callbacks, which means a lot of times once a request is complete, it would could definitely make a, a, a synchronous call or a callback event method. All APIs in Node are written in such a way that they support callbacks. Once file IO is complete, it will call back the callback function while passing the callback function. So there is no blocking or wait for file IO, which means all of this have callback methods. So there is no waiting and non-blocking mechanism. This is what makes Node.js highly scalable so that it can process multiple things in one go. All right, so the next question is, what is a blocking code? So if an application has to wait for some input operation or output operation in order to complete its execution then the code responsible for waiting that is known as blocking code so any code for example if you have some dependency code for which request one needs to be completed before request two is taken up that particular process is called as blocking code so the next question is how do you prevent the blocking code so we always prevent it by always implementing the callback mechanism or callback methods. Callback function gets called whenever corresponding events are triggered. What is event loop? Event loop is a single, since we know that Node.js is a single threaded application, but it supports concurrency via concept of events and callbacks. As every API of Node.js are asynchronous, being a single thread, it uses async function to maintain the concurrency. Node uses observer pattern. Node thread keeps an event loop and whenever any task get completed, it fires the corresponding event which signals the event listener function to get executed. So that is how uh, uh, what that is how the entire event looping works in node in fact node.js makes heavy use of events and callback mechanisms so what is an event emitter event emitter class lies in events module now this is easily accessible via events so we can always uh, import the events module and then create an event emitter like where event emitter equal to new events dot event emitter we can explicitly also call this and make sure that an event is fired whenever some particular task is achieved so this is again continuation so 
again this pro um, so this has some more details like when an event emitter interface instances faces any error it will emit an error event when a new listener is added new listener event is fired when a listener is removed remove listener event is fired so it has multiple properties like on emit etc so this this is an expand uh, expansion of the previous question which is event emitter so make sure you go through both questions together so what is the purpose of buffer class in node so buffer class is a global class and can be accessed in application without importing buffer module a buffer is a kind of array of integers and corresponds to a raw memory location outside the v8 heap a buffer cannot be resized remember that what is piping in node so piping is a mechanism to connect output of one stream to another stream it is normally used to get data from one stream and pass it the output to another stream there is no limit on piping operations consider the above ex example where we have read test.txt using reader stream and write so so this is an uh, example go through that but important thing is piping is used to chain more than one events and piping is a mechanism to connect output of one stream into another so which module is used for file based operations so if you want to open a file write read anything any anything to do with file operations you will have to require fs which is file file system so which module is used for buffer based operations for there is a module called buffer which we need to import for any buffer based operations which module is used for web based operations so for all web based http request responses we will use the module http now this is a true or false statement fs module provides both asynchronous as well as synchronous methods that is true that is correct because it provides provisions for both true and false what is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous mode of fs module so every method in fs module has synchronous as well as asynchronous forms asynchronous method takes a last parameter as completion function callback and its first parameter of the callback is an error it is referred to use as asynchronous method instead of synchronous method so always remember we always prefer asynchronous because it doesn't wait it doesn't go into the waiting block and you can always implement a callback mechanism whenever we use async so always prefer so that's another question which one is preferred asynchronous or synchronous so the answer is it's always asynchronous name some of the flags used in um, read and write operations on files so typically on a server you will have to write logs you will have to enable um, logs to see what went wrong etc so for that you heavily need to work with file systems so you have multiple options like r which is for reading r plus is for reading and writing etc etc you can go through the list there are so many options which are similar to your linux system all right so that brings us to the end of node.js interview question and answers part 3 i am bringing you more series on this so stay tuned and do subscribe to my channel to keep getting updates and also to keep supporting me if you have any doubts or queries please drop them in the comment section below i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for joining in this episode i'll see you in the next episode thank you